The St. Baldrick's Foundation is on a mission to raise funds and also awareness for life-saving childhood cancer research. So through its signature head-shaving events, you've heard of them, one of them too is coming up. It features Z Jack Zapla, and he is a seventh grader who was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of four. He joins us along with Christy Flynn this morning. So nice to have both of you here. Thank you for having Thank us. You for so Christy, why don't you start with those people who've not heard, I mean, if you're from Chicago, you, you likely have heard about this, <laughs> but just kind of brief us on St. Baldrick's too. St. Baldrick's is a foundation that they, we have people register to shave their head and they get sponsorship. All the money goes to children's cancer research. Okay, Jack, you're doing that this year. Yeah. But this is not your first year, so tell me all about this. It's my eighth year, and um, seventh year, you become, like, part of, like, knighting. And so if you do it seven years straight, you become a knight. And, like, um, I became a hero. Yes, you did. Yeah. And what is that called? He's part of the... It's the uh, League of Legendary Heroes, and he's the first champion because he is five years yeah, cancer years free cancer on free. March 10th. Yeah, so what does this mean to you to be able to be a cancer survivor and to also know that you're helping so many kids by raising money at the same time? It means a lot because I know there's a lot of kids who didn't make their journey and I did. And I wish as many kids could get as lucky as me to make it through and do as many great things as I am and live their childhood to the fullest and live their childhood to the fullest. Yeah, that's some pretty deep thoughts from you. Why do you think that just getting involved too not only touches you as a kid, but you talked about how you also tell your friends about it. So you're kind of raising a yeah. lot of awareness too. What like, do you tell your friends? My friends, I feel like like they don't like they have a great life and they don't think twice about having cancer. But one day that could happen to them and then they will be thinking about it. So like I would always like them to be aware and help kids who do have it. You are such a great spokesperson, Jack. I mean, just from your own personal experience, you've learned a lot about this. Yeah. I mean, when you go around, what's your main message to people? Um, that to treat life to your fullest and live with what you got, because some people don't have what you have. You are, that is absolutely right. I mean, I could see why already he's designated the champion exactly, hero, right? Yes. <laughs> so if people want to get involved, what do they need to do now? So everyone who's at home, who sees you, who mm -hmm. sees Jack and is like inspired to do something, inspired to raise money, what can they do? Well, our event is Friday. This is our 12th year. It's hosted by the Franklin Park Fire Department. Um, they started shaving their head back in 2004. Uh, we have a lot of people sign up that day. Our event's in River Grove. They can go to www.stbaldricks.org to find an event in their area. They start from January and pretty much go through to the end of the year. Uh, we, as our 12 year has hit $1.5 million. And as of this morning, we've raised $50,000 online. That is awesome. And Jack, you are definitely a champion. There's no doubt about it. Now, I thought this was funny because I'm like, well, wait, you've been growing your hair. It, it looks kind of short, but your mom's like, no, no, no. That, for you, that's really long, right? Yeah. Okay, so are you ready to shave, shave it all the way down? Yeah. You're ready to go, huh? Shaving. All right. Hey, nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Loved having you here. Thank you very much. Thank